I'm very pleased to announce the release of Volume 3, the focus on food chemistry. I want to clear up a few things about these three volumes. First, they all contain completely different information. There's no duplication. They're not revisions. When I wrote Volume 1, I had two and a half years of YouTube videos to cover. People had been asking me for the printed list of ingredients for all of those dishes, and so I obliged. There are recipes with stepwise directions and many tips offered throughout, as well as an extensive history of Russian cuisine over the last thousand years, but Volume 1 is very different from Volume 2 and 3. In Volumes 2 and 3, I only had about nine months of YouTube recipes to cover in each, so I was able to provide stepwise directions for everything. In Volume 2, I included a lot of additional information about cooking and some simple examples of flavor chemistry to set the stage for Volume 3. While Volume 2 hopefully got you thinking about some of the processes that go on in cooking and how flavors are expressed and sensed at the molecular level, the topic was painted with pretty broad strokes to make it easy to digest. Pun intended. Volume 3 is a milestone of the series in which I've included an entire introductory course in food chemistry, which is why Volume 3 is about 70 pages longer than Volume 2. If you just want the recipes, that's okay too. You don't have to read the first few chapters. But if you've ever been curious about what influences tastes and flavors and the rationale for deciding cooking times and temperatures and why things taste different when they're combined in different ways, this book will answer many of those questions. It also paves the way for Volume 4, which will be next year.